thanks for watching my video today we are, we are going to evaluate this limit right here then is limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 1 over n square to the power 2 over n square into 1 plus 2 square over n square to the power 4 by n and so on up to n times okay so if you guess the next term will be 1 plus 3 square over n square to the power 6 by n square okay so looking at this one <coughs> so when n tends to infinity y will be the answer of this limit okay so in the last we will get an imagined answer okay okay let's get started so <coughs> since we have the power here so I want to take down okay I, I don't want this power so I want to take down so meaning and again these are all product right so we can take logarithm okay we can take log so let's call this limit to be p okay p equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 1 by n square to the power 2 by n square 1 plus 2 square by n square to the power 4 by n square and so on up to n times these two n are not equal okay? because this n is always constant and this n is always changing okay? 2 n over n square now taking logarithm on both sides then you get left hand side log p equal to on the right hand side since log does not depend on this one so we can put inside the limit okay so log of this one will be what 2 by n square because it is in the log property log x to the n is x n log x right so log 1 plus 1 by n square since this is a product so if you take log it will change to sum okay 4 by n square log of 1 plus 2 square by n square plus and so on the n times will be 2 n over n square log of 1 plus n square by n square <coughs> so we have sp split or limit into this one okay now this one this is a summation so we can put in terms of summation now log p got it limit n tends to infinity <coughs> what will be this sum from r equal to 1 to something okay this will be 2r over n square log of since this is up to n times so n times over log of 1 plus r square by right r square by n square <coughs> now we are going to use limit in terms of definite integral so log p equal to limit and tends to infinity sum from r equal to 1 to infinity to this one i can write in as r by n over n right and log of 1 plus r by n whole square now just replace This is not infinity, sorry, and is by just integral 1 by n is by dx 
and r by n is just x okay so log p is equal to integral of 2 r by n is x 2x log of 1 plus r by n is x right x square dx now what about this limit this limit come from this one since we replace this is psi naught okay when r tends to 1 that mean this one when r is 1 then r by n will tends to what In 0 right because n is infinity right limit n tends to infinity so 1 by in infinity will be 0 when r tends to n then r by n will tends to 1 exactly right <coughs> now we can evaluate this limit from 0 to 1 right so log p equal to 2 times integral from 0 to 1 x log of 1 plus x square dx now just put 1 plus x square equal to u so 2x dx is du <coughs> or this one 2 we can put back log p equal to 0 when it is 0 1 when it is 1 2 right and 2x dx is du and log 1 plus x square is u du so this one we can evaluate easily by using parts okay In integration by parts log u into u from 1 to 2 minus integral from 0 to 1 1 over u into u du so log p is equal to plug here 2 log 2 and log 1 is 0 minus this 2 we cancel 0 to 1 dx du right so which is 2 log 2 minus u from not, not 0 to 1 1 to 2 I mean 1 to 2 so let's write in here log p is equal to 2 log 2 minus <coughs> if you plug the limit 2 minus 1 right 2 minus 1 is just 1 or this one is same as log e okay because this log is natural logarithm okay so all log p is equal to log 4 <coughs> and minus log e here we use log of x to the n is and log x this one is here so this two in front of this one i can keep in down in power this one okay so they mean two square two square mean four so log p is equal to log of negative mean divide right log over e meaning log log will cancel out so our p is 4 by e so one is our p our p is our limit this one so limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 1 by n square to the power 2 by n square 1 plus 2 square by n square to the power 4 by n square and so on up to 1 plus n square over n square to the power 2n over n square this is the same as 4 over e where this e is Euler number <coughs> okay which is actually two point something okay two point something so this is our answer to this limit okay